The power of storytelling. I'm going to highlight in this video exactly why storytelling is so important and why it's pretty much used every single day of your life, even when you don't realize it, but your subconscious does. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, storytelling is absolutely extremely valuable in pretty much all realms of your life. And if you don't know, not necessarily if you don't know your story, but if you don't know how to convey your story in a talking manner within a speech that you're giving, it makes it very tough for an audience or for a viewer to basically comprehend what you're saying. Some of the greatest companies that are out there, they have one of the greatest stories. I'll use Tesla as a perfect example. Um, the CEO, Elon Musk, his story, and if you don't know it, I highly recommend looking it up. His story is absolutely incredible with where he comes over from South Africa. And I just so happen to read his biography, so I know the ins and outs of his story, and it makes me appreciate him more so as a person and as a human being, not just a CEO, right? That's why I got a lot of respect for somebody like him. Somebody might say, well, Nate, um, have you taken a look at Planet Fitness's story or CEO? It's like, no, I haven't really, because I haven't had a reason to look into that. But even if they do, um, of course, convey a story to me, it has to be compelling. Your story has to be compelling, right? Uh, we own a marketing company, and with us owning a marketing company, people want to know our story because everybody and their brother and sister owns a marketing company. It's like a, a literally every single block, pretty much everybody has a marketing company. So what makes you, what makes your restaurant different? What makes your insurance company different? What makes your brand different? Yeah, you're a book, you're an author, great. What makes you different compared to all the other authors? When you think about one of the greatest authors to ever live, and she still currently is living, it's J.K. Uh, Rowling, or Rowling, however you, you know, pronounce it, but it, it's great because she's not just the founder of Harry Potter. She's known for that. But when people really get a chance to know her story behind how she created that, you appreciate her so much more, right? So again, I don't wanna paint over all these examples and things I want to get down to the juicy part on crafting your story. So Nate, how do I craft my story? How do I story tell to where whenever I convey to somebody and they ask me, what do you do and where do you come from? Instead of me just saying, yeah, I'm, I'm from Pennsylvania and I am such and such age and this is what I do. Okay, that's cool, but that's surface level. There are situations when you, you need to do that. But I challenge you, whenever you give a speech, I mean, you might say that, but you run out of things to talk about. So instead of giving a 10 to 15 second spiel on what you do, a 10 to 15 second, sp second spiel can easily translate to a five to maybe 20 minute story speech. And then when you look at it, it makes you more comfortable because telling your story is one of the greatest assets that you have for who you are because nobody else can tell your story like you can because you're the only person that has lived through your life and you're the only person that has lived through uh, the lens of, of Nate, right? I, I've lived through Nate the Great, right? I, Nate Peterman, my real name's Nathan, for those of you who don't know, Nathan Peterman. I've lived through things in my life and I know exactly how to talk about that, right? I know how to talk about whenever my parents got divorced and how I felt about that, right? I know how to talk about sports growing up because I played soccer for 13 years forward and being a goalkeeper. I've had seven jobs anywhere from working at McDonald's to working in retail to selling cars. I've been in network marketing. You feel me? I, I've, I've been in competitions. I'm used to being on, on a lot of winning soccer teams because that's, we won all the time. I'm not saying we won every single year, but we won a majority of the years. I know what it's like to start my own business at 19 years old, 20 years old. I know what it's like to travel to China, to travel to Europe, Germany, Sweden, you know, go to Russia. I know what it's like to do this. I know what it's like to interview some really high caliber people like Michael Jackson's nephew, TJ Jackson, some of the greatest dentists in the world that operate on extremely well-known celebrities like Post Malone, Shaq. Odell Beckham Jr., the baby. You know, I, I'm connected to these people, so I'm able to talk about that and implement that within my story. But most importantly, the thing that you have to understand 
or your struggles. People don't just care about what you, they don't just care about what it is that you've accomplished and what you've done. Oh, that's cool you have a PhD. That's cool you have a business that produces over seven figures a year, seven figures a month. But that's not relatable. The relatability is where you come from. Most importantly, if you're an immigrant and you've, you know, live in the United States currently, maybe you don't. The struggle that you've been through, my parents are divorced. There's other people out there that can relate to that now. They feel more comfort with you as a speaker. Um, the things that you've been through, being homeless, right? Um, whatever it is that you're able to relate to, walking the streets trying to go door knocking to get clients. These are the things that can intertwine with your story. So what do you want me, what do you want to do? What I want you to do, I want you to get a, a piece of paper. Get out a piece of paper and simply write out moments in your life that you've been able to accomplish. Highlights, highlight moments is what you can title it. And write down some highlights. Write down about 10 highlights. And then on the next column, I want you to write down 10 moments that were defining moments. Parents got divorced, got picked on a bit in school, right? And these are coming from me. Um, I was homeless for a day, right? Yeah, it's only a day, but it's, I'm still homeless. Didn't have any money in my account to eat food. So these are the things that you can, so some, some of you guys, um, my father wasn't in my life, right? And I'm, and this isn't me, this is just the examples. Father wasn't in my life. I was homeless. Um, one, one of my favorite speakers, Eric Thomas, he, he always leverages that, right? When he starts speaking, my father wasn't in, in my life. I was living in abandoned buildings, eating out of trash cans. And people, when they hear that, it's like, holy smokes, eating out of trash cans? What? And it's just, it's a whole new level of respect. So find out the accomplishments and everything you've done. But most importantly, find out the things that you might not, and, and some of these things that you are going to be on this other side for defining moments, they might be things that you're not used to talking about. Pornography addiction, drug addiction, okay? Maybe you've bullied other people. They are going to be some of your most strongest vulnerabilities. But when you put your strongest vulnerabilities out there, they have the greatest impact because it's one of the most difficult things for people to talk about. Being vulnerable isn't easy. That's a whole other video I can do this on. But again, if you want to craft your story and become absolutely just a great storyteller, you got to find out your key moments and your defining moments in your life. And when you do that, record yourself, recite it, recite it, recite it, recite it. And you might say, Nate, I, I'm trying to, I just feel like it's not perfect. There's no perfect story. Even whenever I storytell, it might sound perfect to somebody, but it's because I, I've done it over and over again. So I understand what it's like to tell my story to enlighten an audience, to talk about not just my accomplishment, but my, my critical, my defining moments in my life. Because if you just talk about your accomplishments, people can look at you as being egotistical. They can look at you as being some like privileged person because they don't know how it is that you got to being one of the greatest artists of all time or one of the greatest marketers of all time. They don't understand the process. Can you imagine if somebody like Elon Musk didn't have a book about himself or if he didn't necessarily talk about where he started or documented any of that? I mean, people would just look at Tesla. They just look at SpaceX, the boring company and some of uh, Hyperloop, Hyperlink, um, his companies. And they would just be like, wow, this guy's privileged. Same with cars. People look at somebody that has a Lamborghini and, and they might instantly think, especially if they're younger, Oh, daddy gave him that. Mommy and daddy gave him that. He must be privileged. But they don't spend the time to actually ask about their story. And then they might not even have a story aligned. So again, storytelling, it's not hard. You just got to understand your story and your key moments and your defining moments. When you do that, you're going to be one heck of a storyteller. So I hope this was insightful. Again, write it down. Make it happen.